It kind of all started on a nine hole par three course. Literally, that was the first time I'd ever hit a golf ball. I didn't know anything about it. And then later that evening, we kind of had that debate that a lot of people have, like, okay, well, what if you just golf and that's all you did? Like, how far could you go? And the week after that, I kept thinking about that, like, well, how far could you go? I was in my late 20s and I was in commercial photography and photographing dental equipment. I just saw the days taking off and I knew that I had to do something else. When I announced at my job that I was going to quit work and, and become a professional golfer, the ladies were like, well, we didn't even know you golf. I'm like, well, I haven't yet. <laughs> and I started the Dan Plan to journal and document the entire transformation. Okay, this is Dan Plan day one. Think of your right thumb as a hot dog and your left hand as the bun. So there's this theory that it takes, uh, on average, 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to become a world-class expert. And I realize that this is exactly how I'm going to structure my endeavor on becoming an expert in golf. For the first five months, all I did was putt. I started from a foot away from the hole, and I moved slowly farther and farther away until 18 months in, I hit the driver for the first time. The one main thing I've learned about how to learn is this principle of interleaving. Instead of just hitting seven iron and seven iron all day, your brain works better if you vary it. And so you might hit a putt, and then hit a driver, and then hit a seven iron, and you try to replicate more of how you would actually use these skills on the course. That's the best way to engage the brain. Right now, I am about 5,900 hours in. Originally, I wanted to be down to scratch at the halfway point, but I'm down to about a 2.7, so I'm pretty happy at where I am. I, I can't believe I get a chance to go to the AT&T Pebble Beach Tournament. Oh, I hope to pick up a lot of tips while I'm down there. You know, just being able to see how they play the course and how they focus and all the pre-shot routines. Being a part of the fans I view, I can take all the information and photos and everything I learn and just throw that out to everybody so everybody can benefit. Every day somebody emails and said that they found the story and are super inspired by it and that they're gonna do their own damn plan. And that's the whole reason that I'm doing it.